This is Proverbs 17 and 22. A merry heart doeth good like medicine, but a broken spirit dryeth the bones. Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Yahweh being the name of the Father, who people ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who people ignorantly call Jesus. <clears throat> Bahashem, Rakakwadash. That's in the name of the Holy Spirit. And that's where we get our revelation, our knowledge, our wisdom, and understanding through these scriptures. Peace and blessings to you, Akim, out there that's constantly fighting the good fight of faith, the Lord will to the end. And double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone that taught us is true. Lord, will this lesson be edifying to the elect? Going in today on a merry heart, doeth good like a medicine. Yeah, we constantly uh, being bombarded by, you know, the evilness of this world and you know, like that latter part of this scripture where it says, but a broken spirit dry at the bones. You know, uh, uh, we constantly are, 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 can be on edge here, man. You know, and that, that, uh, you know, the scripture talk about uh, being unbalanced is an abomination. You know, I'm just paraphrasing it, but basically we, we got to be balancing this, you know, and I'm not saying we got to be all, jokey joke but because you know we are <laughs> in serious times but you know we need medicine at times you know and that's and that medicine could come from a simple way of laughter you know i was just uh just thinking about a few things uh one i just was thinking about something that uh my son you know he he, he uh, did something that made me just when he nobody was around i just it just made me think about him and i laughed you know and I was, and the scripture came to mind. And then I saw the uh, the elder brother uh, Michael Allen from the Los Angeles camp. Uh, that brother, you know, he did a, a lesson, or he or he pushed off a live lesson, and it was going on. Matter of fact, let me see the name of it. So I'll butcher it. I just recently watched it. It's uh, it may not pop up since it was a live one. Let me see. It's a uh, see. Oh, it's it's is uh let's talk about it and do a hardness like a champion. And uh even while the brother was talking about, it, you know, the brother he always he always uh got a laughter about him, you know, like he had laugh, not like he, you know, he just, he got that laughter about him, you know, and that when I, when he does that, I'll just think about this scripture, like, man, you know, getting that medicine, because, you know, we got to, because he was going in about the grief, you know, so of course, man, we constantly coming up with different, you, <clears throat> we constantly coming up against all kind of griefs, man, in this world, you know, but we got to uh, balance it out. You, know, you got to be willing to balance it all out because it's, it it gets it it can get rough, man. But if if we uh are way too serious all the time and you know don't have no no type of balance in this and it's true, you know it could it could uh overwhelm us, you know. So you know laughing is okay, man. It's okay to 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 laugh, especially amongst the brothers, you know. Uh, maybe even in your own time, you know. The scripture talk about uh smiling uh scarcely like a like a uh, let me see if i can do that all right this is ecclesiasticus 21 and 20 it says a fool lifted up his voice with laughter but a wise man does scare smile a little you know so i get it you know we, we balancing it you know we're not always walking around jokey jokey and being uh, clowns you know but it says, but a wise man does scare smile a little, you know, so it, you know, a wise, we, we wise man, Lord will, and we does scare smile a little, you know, we do a little at times, man. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a balance in it. So I'm going to just bring out a few scriptures, you know, to Lord will edify the elect. I'm going to jump to this next one. It's, uh, I think it's in Proverbs as well. Proverbs 12.
and verse 25. Proverbs 12 and 25. Heaviness in the heart of man maketh it stoop, but a good word maketh it glad. You know, you you hey, you you hear the word, hey, this word, hey, that's our comforter, man. That's what we able to go to to, to give us some type of rest. It gives us hope. So in this word and this truth, you know, even a, a word uh, spoken from a brother, man, it, it it helps. That's why we we supposed to be here for one another. We supposed to, you got to look out. You know, we got to look out for one another, man, because we don't know what what each and every one of us are going through. But we all know that we going through something. You know, but being a uh, sometimes being an ear, but then sometimes just having that 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 uh, that that word. You know. Uh, Good words spoken at the right time is is you can't put a you can't put a number on it you can't put a value on it man says is because hey that could save somebody's life literally you know so jumping from there to uh verse back to Proverbs again fifteen and thirteen Proverbs chapter fifteen and verse thirteen it says. A merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of heart the spirit is broken. I'm gonna read it again. A merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance. You know, on the outside you're gonna see. You go, you could tell by a person uh, how they feeling on the inside by a lot of times what what they look like on the outside. I'm gonna read it in the NIV. It says, "A happy heart makes the face cheerful, but." But heartache crushes the spirit. You know, when you when the heart, when the mind is constantly being bombarded, because you just think, man, where uh, uh, much wisdom is much grief. You know, I'm paraphrasing it. But the more we know in this truth, the more you like, damn, you know, you catching hell. And it's not like we trying to put it on us. But, hey, it is it, on us, man. And that's part of the battle. That's why I was just I was reading in Job and how he was going through it and all the, the, the things that he went through, you know, the fight. But then, you know, you get to end the, to the end of Job, you know, the chapter, and then they start talking about you know what he gained. You know, it was more than what he what he lost before he went through all the hell. And that's you know that's what's gonna be for us. You know, Lord, will we those men? You know, we we gonna we gonna. Uh, receive we're going to receive uh more than what we what we lost in this world and what we losing here you know it, it feels like a lot at times because this is all we we've ever had you know the job you have the, the car you had the woman you had the children you know but all that's gonna be wiped away man it's gonna be like a like a dream you know, all the hell we going through to seem like a lot of hell. Hey, all that's going to be wiped away. You know, we, we looking for a new heaven and a new earth. Those are things to smile about, things to laugh about. You listen to an old, a old comedy or something, you know, watch Harlem Nights, whatever, you know, you know, makes you laugh, man. You know, that it does good like a medicine. I was reading some uh, uh, a book. Let me see if I can remember the name of the book. Uh I don't remember right off, but I think I got it written down. My memory, bro. It's locked yet. But it's a, um, it was going in just speaking about, uh, it's called uh, Natural Cures They Don't Want You to Know About. And I was reading it, and it was going in about, you know, uh, how stress and how it, it it's uh, one of the top reason, uh, reasons for people getting uh, super sick and, and even dying, you know? Cause it leads to things, you know, and that stress is, it's a killer. All right. So jumping back to the scriptures, this is, uh, what was that? Proverbs chapter 15 and 13 it says a merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow, the heart, the spirit is broken. So I'm going to jump to Ecclesiastes seven and three, and I'm going to close it on this one. Ecclesiastes 7 and 3, it says sorrow is better than laughter just to give a balance in this truth, you know, a balance. And, you know, I understand and we should understand that being all 
jolly all the time and you know but it's a time and place for everything it says uh ecclesiastes 73 sorrow is better than laughter for by the sadness of the continents the heart is made better you know so you know having that serious type of mind state you know sorrow is better than laughter when you when it all goes down it said but but you know it's a balance in it because it says for by the sadness of the continents the heart is made better you know we 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 really are considering things when we are are sad so it's not by uh, coincidence that you know we had those hard and rough and sad days and sad you know times you know we're gonna go through it but that's that's gonna make like it says it says uh the, it says the sadness of the continents the heart is made better so it's gonna make our heart it's gonna make our mind better by going through this you know this sadness it's the world they doing everything in their power to try to be happy go lucky they getting high they getting high as hell now 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 marijuana's illegal so jake just taking high to a whole nother level jay getting super drunk they sipping lean they have everybody having sex i seen something it was uh recording it where they just had they was running a uh, looked like it was uh i don't know the woman the, the the woman the lady however you want to call her the hoe whatever you want to call it was like running had it was just a line of jakes and they were just like taking turns on and this was just a it, it looked like in a uh like on a in an alley you know young jakes just walking with they showing their condoms and they were just like just, i'm just like damn they just trying to find some type of, you know, fulfillment. Of course, get your rocks off, but Jake doing any and everything nowadays. All these different things that that's available here in Babylon, and Jake still ain't finding satisfaction because you ain't gonna find it in the things. You're not gonna find it in in other people. You gotta find that within your Habba Shemel Shah. That's the only uh, solution. That's the only comforter. That's the only hope. But Jake. You know, he swear he had the gym 24-7. Jake trying to find it in there. Some Jake's going to church. Some Jake's is trying to find it in food. But the only happiness that you're going to find is in your hobby or Shemel Shai, you know. But you you could get your little glimpse in here and there. You might have a hobby or something, you know. You might even go to a comedy club or something, you know. It's different. But, but the point is, you know, just a... To, to uh, a merry heart do it good like a medicine. It's, it's good for us to have that that laugh, that chuckle. You know, <laughs> it's good to smile, man. It, it 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 helps take the pain away. It's a it's a natural, you know, it's a natural medicine for us. I was almost gonna call it an aphrodisiac, but it and it is a, a attractive to women. Women, we know that. You know, you you put a smile on to a woman. And they, you know, that that attracts uh, the woman, you know, they see that you're not, you're not, you're not so, uh, uh, where you're not approachable, rather, you know. But Lord will, this is that a fun to the elect out there. And with that, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and blessings to you, walking out there fighting this good fight of faith. Lord will to the end. Until next time, Lord will. Shalom.